So now let's check how our aggregate functions behave with the null values uh, in the column of our table. So let's check. So that's how our data actually looks like in car model 5 uh, table. So let's try to select the records where rank is not null. So that's how you specify if you want to retrieve not null values. So now let's see how we can actually retrieve rows which have the null values in them. So that's how you retrieve the null values by specifying is null. Now let's try to perform some operations and let's see how uh, aggregate functions behave with null values. So let's see the count star when it's not null. So that's the 10. Uh, let's try to sum on the rank. Um, so sum is 80. Now let's see what's the average. So the average is 8. Now um, let's try to look how actually they behave when we have both the null and the not null values so let's check the average for the rank it's the same that means null values were not included to uh, calculate the average otherwise it would have decreased um, the count of the rank is still 10 so it's not including the null values but if we see the count star, that's the number of rows. So we have uh, that equal to 13. So that's a combination of null and not null values. Okay, now let's see how the max function actually behaves. So let's see the max of rank. So it's the 20. Um, and now let's check the minimum, whether it's null or zero. So it's zero. Uh, null values are not included in max or min as well. Um, so they are just only included in the count um, and not in any of the aggregate functions.